Lisa, great job today. Um, sorry the Zoom lessons are a bit awkward and short, but you did really well, and this is a cool new song. So continue to do your up-down scale. Memorize that in the minor you have to flatten the third. One, two, flat three. And it goes four, five, flat six, flat seven, eight. So the answer to the question is you flatten three, six, and seven. That's the formula for a minor scale. But today we added the minor third to your major pentatonics to create something called a major blues scale. And they go like this. They all add the passing tone to the third fret. A passing tone is just a brief note that connects two other notes of a scale. A major blues. So it's the same exact scale you've been practicing with the third fret added to each one. That's it. Minors continue doing the same way. Um, o three, O two, O two, A. You did good on D minor today. It ends with one three. But when we got to G minor, you were confused. So it feels the same, same fingering, but it's O three one three one three. So let's get the confusion out of there this week, please. Your chord cycle looked good. E minor, E major, A minor, A major. Except you were getting confused on B seven, and we're gonna need that for both songs. No, not for both, but for the uh, Mac DeMarco song. So A to B7, middle finger up, pinky down, first finger plugs the gap. Let's master that, please. And then you're really good on the other chord cycle. So um, I'm going to start with the new song. Um, what's this called again? Beautiful Boy. Okay, so this is a little bit like some other songs you've learned. Um, it takes a C major, and then it does this cool thing where it takes the first finger out for a C major 7, like astronomy I think had this, but you hammer it in like this. So you practice strumming down and then bring the finger on while it's ringing. So it goes. So let me explain that. So you go down, up, and then you pull your finger back off. So it's off, on, off, on, then it stays on. You go down, down, down. So it's. Same thing, but you start with an A minor, but the first finger does the same hammer ons in the same order. Now you go to an E minor, but instead of adding your pinky to the B string, you add it to the high E at the second fret. This makes a chord called E minor 9 that songwriters love. And here I want you to go down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. And then you go to G3, just like astronomy. G3 over F sharp, just drop the root to the second fret. Now start it over like this. A minor, same hammer on. Same strum pattern. E minor 9, down, down, up, down, up, down. Now we're going to go to G for 2, and then F sharp. So that's that song. Be patient with it. If you can't get the hammer-ons in the strum pattern, don't worry about it. Just practice doing one hammer-on and just going three like that, and then do three on the A minor. And then the rest you can just pick up a strum pattern and learn that chord. E minor nine is the only totally new one. But I think you can. If you use the tab and use the video, you could probably get that little tactic, uh, that technique I just showed you. Okay, so for for the first time, you did very well. You sort of forgot what E minor 7 was, but it only took you a minute to get it back. So start with these two fingers on your E minor and add your pinky to the B string 3rd fret. And the rhythm here was 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And you do it twice, and then D major 7, 4 notes, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay? Also twice. He does that for a while, that's his whole verse, it's very chill, kind of Mac DeMarco style. But then he uses the B7 and some other new chords for the bridge, or let's call it the chorus. So he goes E minor 7, okay, um, to B7. So now you finally have a new reason to practice your B7 chord. So start with your E minor 7, and then try to wheel yourself into B7. Let's 
gonna take you some practice, but you're definitely gonna get it. Okay? And then you get to get play this uh, beautiful chord, you go back to E minor seven. But then you take an F shape, Isa, and an F shape is three, two, one on the D, G, and B string, but you move it up two frets. So actually now I have five, four, three. And I put the open A as the bass. This is a beautiful kind of um, soul or gospel chord called a G over A, because the chord spells G, but the open A is the bass, G over A. So you go from E minor seven to G over A. Now this one's the next one, this next one's the only confusing one. Move all your fingers down one fret, but then flatten your first finger to cover three, just like D major seven but your ring finger should stay on the D string at the fourth fret, so I get four, two, two, two. This is a type of minor chord, this particular one's F sharp minor. Four, two, two, two. So you're at the G over A, then you move it to your left one fret and flatten the first finger, move the middle finger away. Okay, that's the weirdest chord, and then you're back to B7. So the whole chorus is like, um, now B7, G over A, F sharp minor, back to B7. Now, just to contextualize it, I'm going to play it with Mac so you can hear it and it makes a little bit more intuitive sense. Um, one second here, recently played, okay. E minor 7 starts with the same chord. Here comes B7. Back to E minor 7. G over A. F sharp minor. B7. E minor 7. G over A. Second time goes right to D major 7, no F sharp. D e minor. So the difference here So hopefully that made a little bit more sense. Um, basically, during the verses, it's so relaxed that he plays the pattern a lot. He goes, he plays the pattern twice on each chord, so it feels very chill. But starting on the chorus, I think it starts to go one, so it's like, Something's got me wrong here. Let's see, what is it? Ah, okay, that's what it is, Isa. I figured it out. It's, it's represented in the chart too, I just don't know the song well enough. But when the chorus starts, it's still a very long E minor seven and a very long B seven. And then you'll see that the next line, each pattern just happens once. And that's what I haven't quite captured here. So the chorus starts just like the verse. Doubling each chord. But then the second line of the chorus, every chord gets just one strum pattern. And then it, that second line repeats. But the second ending goes to D major 7 instead of F sharp minor. Again. No, you can do that. Learn those chords, use the chart, and use the, t the video, and you'll be good. See you, friend.